Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Scylla. Now, I'm sure that we are not alone in finding that when we're together all of the time, and particularly under these circumstances, each of us can get pretty stressed, however that plays out. Now, for some of us, we get heated and loud, and that is definitely me. While others of us can retreat and go quieter, and, and that's definitely me. And some people under stress uh, and pressure get moody and sulky, and they may give their partner the silent treatment. So, here are five tips that we've discovered are important for staying calm and connected under pressure. First tip, be careful with your words. Now, that may well involve exercising patience. I know for myself that when I feel misunderstood or I feel that Nikki's not listening to me, I can just explode and say things I later regret. So for me, going into another room and counting to 10 really helps me to tell Nikki more calmly what I feel really passionately about. The second tip is ask each other, what are you finding most difficult about our situation? And then listen to your partner's answer. Reflect back to them what they've said to be sure you've understood and for them to know that you've understood them. Understanding each other is much more important than agreeing with each other. And you know, we only understand our partner by really listening to them. And at stressful times like these, we can easily feel that we've just got to battle on alone. Listening draws us together at an emotional level. We no longer feel alone. And when I'm worried or upset about something, I have to remember to tell Scylla about it. And that can take real courage. But I always feel so much better afterwards. And I see the issue in a much clearer perspective. The third tip is ask each other regularly, how can I help you? That's what exercising kindness looks like. And typically when we're under stress, we think about what we need and wonder why our partner isn't helping us. But when we turn it around and ask each other, how can I help you? It makes a huge difference to the whole situation that we're in. The fourth tip is, when you're having a disagreement, take the issue from between you and put it out in front of you and then discuss the issue rather than attacking each other. Listen to what each of you feels about this issue and look for solutions. Now, if, for example, the disagreement is around who does what in your home, the solution may be to divide up the chores in a whole new way. And you may surprise yourself. I've taken on doing the laundry and I found I really enjoy it. <laughs> And finally, the fifth tip is remember to say thank you to each other, even for very small acts of kindness or consideration, such as thanks for letting me use your charger this morning or thanks for making breakfast. Grateful words will dramatically affect our attitude towards each other and towards our whole situation and it'll change the atmosphere in our home.